The Pixel 8a is here and it's interesting. I got a lot of thoughts on this phone. Some of them are great, some of them are not so great. I have always loved Google's A-series devices, whether it be the phones or the A-series versions of the Pixel Buds. Every time I bought one, it felt like I was getting 80 to 90% of the experience of a flagship top tier device for a lot less money. And to a small extent, the Pixel 8a follows that trend too. But I would argue that this is not the value king that a lot of the other A-series phones have been in the past. Let me explain. The whole shtick of the Pixel A series is that you get a lot of the features of the more expensive phones, but at a lower price point. But there are always compromises, things that Google has to take away to be able to hit that lower price point. For example, the Pixel 8a has a 6.1 inch OLED display that runs at a high refresh rate of 120 hertz. That's great. On paper, those are fairly top tier specs. But then you pull out the Pixel 8 for a comparison, and you see that the 8a has thicker bezels, and there's some significant rainbowing going on as soon as you look at the screen, even slightly off axis. So it's definitely a lower end display. The overall build of the Pixel 8a is a little less high end too. It has this nice soft touchback, which I actually prefer, but it is plastic instead of the more high end glass one on the Pixel 8. It also has a lower water resistance rating at IP67 instead of IP68, and it uses Gorilla Glass 3 instead of Gorilla Glass Victor the latter of which is more scratch resistant. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. The Pixel 8a has decent hardware, but most of it is just a slight step down from the more mature Pixel 8. That continues with the cameras. The 8a's cameras are actually identical to the ones that were found on the 7a. They haven't changed anything on that front this year, which is actually not such a terrible thing. I mean, the 7a did win Marquez's blind camera test of 2023, so. There's that. Pixels are well known to have great cameras. That was true of the first Pixels and it's still just as true here and now. Photos are nice and sharp and I like the color rendition of most of the photos. There's no dedicated telephoto in this phone so don't expect shots from far away to look great but there's no zoom in the Pixel 8 either so that's not something that you're losing by going with the 8a over the Pixel 8. You do lose something though and that's the ability to shoot 4k at 24 frames per second. The Pixel 8 can shoot at 24 frames per second but the 8a can't and I have no no idea why that's the case. I can only assume it's to add just a little bit of a point of differentiation between the two phones because it's not a hardware limitation. I don't know, it's weird. But the rest of these phones are almost identical and that's a very, very good thing. They both have big batteries with long battery lives. They both have under display fingerprint readers and perhaps most importantly, they both have the same Tensor G3 chip giving them excellent performance overall. The only time that this phone ever lagged a bit or got really hot was when I was setting it up, which is to be expected. Most phones get really hot when they're downloading gigabytes worth of data and installing 20 or 30 new apps. Now at this point, you might might be thinking, Mark, you were talking a little bit negatively about this phone earlier and you haven't actually said anything that's super bad about the Pixel 8a. And you're right, because the Pixel 8a is absolutely not a bad phone. Sure, there are some compromises when you compare it to the Pixel 8, but it's a cheaper phone. It is a cheaper phone, right? Here's the thing. If you compare the MSRP numbers, the Pixel 8 is 700 USD, the Pixel 8a is 500 USD, and although I'm no mathematician, I'm fairly confident that 500 is less than 700. But there was a time where the Pixel 8a wasn't cheaper than the Pixel 8 at all. The Pixel 8 has already been on sale for 500 US dollars recently. In fact, I've seen some reports of people claiming that it could have been had for even less than that at one point. So here's the bottom line. If you need a phone right now, like right this second, and you've only got 500 bucks to spend, the Pixel 8a is a good phone. But I personally would recommend you wait for another Pixel 8 sale if you can, or better yet, just wait for a sale on the 8a. I can almost guarantee that Google is gonna slash the price of this thing to far below 500 bucks sometime in the near future. And that would make this year's A series phone a whole lot more attractive. The 8a is a good phone, but at 500 bucks, it's a tough pill to swallow when you could have had a better phone for the exact same price. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.